Hi, I'm meteorologist Aaron Tuttle, and I want to thank you for downloading my free weather app, AT's Weather To Go, from the Apple and Google Play stores. Once you get the app loaded on your phone, go ahead and start it up. Once it gets past the welcome screen, we're going to take you to the home screen, which is a panel of tiles, and each of these tiles contains some type of information, whether it be from social media or from weather or just something to interface here with the app. The first thing we're going to do is tap the top three dots on the right on Android. It looks like a balloon icon for the iPhone. But we're going to hit the uh, locations button. And what we're going to look at here is where you want alerts to occur. Now, by default, you're going to get your current location automatically because the app needs to know where you are, which, by the way, you need to have your location services enabled on your phone, including GPS, and make sure that the app has permission to those. Now, what we can do also is add a location just by pressing the plus button next to that word. And you can type in any address that you want. Go ahead and type in the entire uh, you know, number of it, including the zip code and all that stuff. And it'll automatically kind of populate. So this will be, you know, here we go in New York, for example. And then uh, we're going to hit done. And that will add New York to our list of places that we want in this specific address. Now, if you don't know the address, but you know the uh, area on the map, you can basically just zoom in as tight as you want to go right to your, basically your home. So we'll pick over here in Des Moines and go to this city block and we'll say you live right here. And we'll just tap the map. The little gray box pops up. There's the address. Hit the word done. And there you go. Now you've got another location in. And all of these alerts that you can scroll through, you can toggle on and off to have custom push notifications sent to you regarding those. Hit done to save your selections. And now we have um, several areas here that we've added that will be getting push notifications sent directly to your device. When we're done here, we'll go ahead and hit the word done. I also want to show you up here on the top right, same thing as the status bar. The status bar temp is what uh, turns on or off the temperature at the top part of your um, notification bar. So if you'd like that on there, go ahead and select it. If not, just hit the word none. I think as far as this uh, menu goes for right now, I'll talk to you about the About button, and that'll take you to email support. So if you have any trouble at all with the app, just make sure you hit email support and email me your concern, and I'll walk you through it. Okay, now as far as the app functionality itself, let's get on with the data. Top right panel is conditions and forecast. We'll tap on that. Here's a little shortcut. You can slide your finger from right to left, and it'll change to all those different addresses that you have entered. So you can keep tabs very quickly on various uh, areas of the country or just around Oklahoma, for example. And we're going to scroll down. You get your current conditions, a shortcut to the radar. You even have an hourly breakdown of the forecast, both in temperature, precip, and wind. Just touch each button, and then you can slide across the screen to make it move. All the way down, we've got your seven-day forecast. Then in the bottom, we've got your sun and moon conditions. Also here at the top right, you can still access your locations if you wanted to add one, or in this particular case, delete one. So we'll go back to that menu. I'll tap this last one, Cherry Street, hit that gray arrow to the left of it, you see the word edit and delete. Those are the two main ones you'd want to pay attention to. And we'll just hit the word delete. And it'll say, are you sure? And you say, yes, I don't need that one anymore. And you're all done. Now keep in mind, you can put in your kids, different schools. You can put in different homes, vacation homes, grandparents. You got it. Sky's the limit. All right. Let's go back to the home. And we'll do that by sliding from the left to right to get to the side menu. And let's take a look at the weather map. You'll spend a lot of time on this weather map. It's one of the most popular areas of the app itself. And what we're going to do is by default is it enables the national radar. So if we zoom on in here to the northern parts of the country, you can see a squall line going through right now west of the Great Lakes. If you tap the bar at the bottom, this is called a legend, and you hold your finger over that legend and drag it, you can actually get the readouts of whatever uh, information is presented down here. It goes on any product that's on this app. You can hit that little gray uh, button right there as well, and that's the play button. And that'll either pause it or you can put your finger and drag it to give you uh, the movement of the radar. And just hit the word now when you're ready for the current time frame. Now, we'll go back up here to this top right paper stack icon. It looks like three layers of paper. By default, it's national radar, but you can change it to temperature, satellite, high-res radar here in Oklahoma, covering the different corners of the state. 
storm prediction center outlooks, including hail and wind and tornado threat. We go to overlay. We're going to turn on National Weather Service alerts, lightning, and storm vectors. Settings, we're going to leave the map the way it is, but we could change it to satellite or a hybrid view. Just depends on your preference. So well, here we have a look here at the uh, country now that I've added these extra layers, and you can see all the lightning on there. And keep in mind, lightning is free here on AT's weather to go but other apps will charge for that lightning data. And you can see the squall line has got quite a few warnings with it. You can tap anywhere in these color-coded polygons to get the information. So in Oswego, we've got a severe thunderstorm warning. We can tap on this box, and you can read the information here by tapping any of those boxes as well to get the breakdown from the National Weather Service. Hit the back arrow there at the top left when you're finished with that. One of the other neat features on this as well is the ability to do your own storm tracks. And we'll just use this one as an example here. We've got this blue arrow, which has indication of hail. So it has severe hail and it's tracking a centroid part of the storm. It also has a movement to the northeast at 18 miles per hour. Now if we tap this white box, we will get more information within this storm. Plus, if you drag this little white dot, you can get your time of arrival, your estimated time of arrival, and that's how you're going to do your own storm tracks. And you can do that for any storm that has an arrow associated with it. And that goes anywhere across the country. Now, if you're traveling out of the country, the app still works, but it has a little bit more on the limited functionality because the U.S. has all the data, and these other countries don't provide as much uh, that we can utilize. But in some cases, they provide enough. So, for example, if you're going to be traveling in Canada, especially in the south end, you do get some storm activity here. You get the arrows, you get the lightning, and you get the heavy rainfall. So it will serve you well if you are traveling across the border. So keep that in mind to use AT's way to go on your vacation destinations. Okay, for the app itself regarding to the map, I'll just let you kind of play around with it and kind of just touch things to kind of see how all that works out. If you ever wanted to go back and add more locations, you can tap those top three dots again or the balloon icon and you can add uh, new locations. Uh, matter of fact, you can even change your display units from Fahrenheit to Celsius if you'd like, especially if you are traveling. Let's go back to the main menu over here to the left. Safety net alerts, this is the other area that you need to pay specific attention to because when you get incoming alerts, this is where they're going to go. So for example, in one of our locations, we've had lightning in the area. So if you tap this gray arrow, you will now see option to share it, delete it, or open up the map. And if you click the map button, it takes you right to where that alert was located and you can see lightning in the area has triggered because there are storms nearby. And that's how all of the alerts will work. They'll be coming into this part of the menu. So make sure that you go to that area of the app to find out what has come in. And that includes any messages sent directly by me because I can send you personal messages based off of your location. There are several other things in here to click on, which I'll let you do. A couple of things I'll point out and then I'll turn you loose. The first one is you can get a great deal on a storm shelter. Just click the tab there. Live stream, when I do broadcast live, I typically cover tornadoes, will take you directly to my YouTube page. And this video here uh, plays when I'm not live, along with several others to choose from. But when I am, you'll see the live broadcast. Make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell if you're on YouTube so that you get notified when I do go live. All right, let's go to donate and support. Very important button here. And you're going, why is that? Well, because right now you are using a free completely free weather app which has all kinds of premium weather data on it and it doesn't cost you a thing and there's no more Google ads and that's because of several people have come out to donate and support me. You can do that by joining up with the subscription option and that is through either Facebook with the Facebook fan subscriptions, Patreon, Subscribestar, or even PayPal offer monthly or yearly option. And if you just like to donate you can use either PayPal, Venmo, I even have cryptocurrency on there and on YouTube, they offer Super Chat. So there's various ways that you can give back and that way keep the services free. Okay, we're going to go one more thing I want to show you down the app, and that is the Shop AT store. And the reason why I bring that up is because I've got a new store, a couple of them actually. 
I am now an Amazon affiliate, and so you can go to my Amazon store and find out which weather products I recommend. And one of them has been a very popular one. It's a NOAA Weather Radio. It's the best one out there, and it's cheap. It's only like 30 bucks. So make sure you check out my store and see what options that I have and save a few bucks. Also, I'm opening up a new Teespring store. And if you're not familiar with Teespring, they do T-shirts, hoodies, mugs, hats, all kinds of stuff. And so I'm going to be adding new products here over the coming weeks. Still have a bonfire store, which also has plenty of t-shirts to pick from. And you can even get a love handle. And then there's also my ultimate fat loss guide. Many of you have downloaded that. And several of you have sent me messages and testimonials. 40, 100, 125 pounds lost. It's incredible. That's over a very short period of time. We're only talking months, not years. So again, that's a uh, here all into the app itself. So we'll go back here to the home. Just kind of give you one last look at what it looks like. And uh, so that is it in a nutshell. So I hope that was helpful. Just when in doubt, just touch things and kind of play around with the app and become more familiar with it. And that way, as severe weather strikes, you'll know exactly how to use the app and uh, you'll be prepared to act quickly if needed. And I want to appreciate and uh, thank you for your time and your patronage and your support over the years and for continuing to use my weather app and to tell other people about it. It's been very helpful. This whole thing has been done by word of mouth, and you're to thank for that. So once again, I want to thank you for using AT's Weather to Go. Have a great day.